welcome to the Super Dave Osborne Show. Tonight featuring Ron Lucas, Fuji Hakayito. Stand by, the Super One is due up next. Hello, everybody. This is Mike Walden. Quite frankly, for the first time since we've been doing the Super Dave Osborne Show, I can't come on tonight and say, hello, how are you? Welcome to the show. Because, really, I don't know if the Super One is in any condition to do the show tonight. For some reason, he's had some sort of an emotional experience. And what it's all about, I really don't know. What's that? Oh, oh, yes, he comes down. Yeah! Super Dave! Oh, great! I was concerned about you. I've been hearing all of these stories. I don't know what's going on, but well, here you are. Welcome to the show, and uh, I'm sorry this came out. Well, uh, what is it? What is it? Well, I had a blow-up in a market. I, I went there to buy some food, and I went by one of those magazine stands where you buy the trash newspapers. Yes. And there I was on the cover. I think the magazine was Business Week. <laughs> and uh, I opened it up, and it said, Super Dave Osborne, formerly the world's greatest stuntman, daredevil For entertainer. Formally? Formally, is now the world's greatest salesman. And all he's doing is selling himself and commercializing himself like every other superstar. And I just got sick to my stomach. Well, but you know what I said? I said, I have a show and they don't. And I'm able to come here and talk about it. The magazine hit the stands today. I'll blow it right out right now. Yeah, I bet you will but, indeed. Uh, what I want to say is, the whole thing started. The guy said, last year when Super Dave did the 40-foot uh, slam dunk. Oh, yeah, sure. He was selling T-shirts to kids. All right? This is the shirt, and as you well know, Mike, I was giving these t-shirts away. There's a difference between the word give and sell. You understand? Yeah, sure. And every kid and everybody in attendance got a free Super Dave t-shirt. The only thing they had to do was uh, purchase a copy of my Super Dave's Greatest Stunts album. <laughs> oh, it's very enjoyable listening. It's on tape now, and you can get it on Laserdisc, and... We'll be out with volume two in a month. It's absolutely fabulous. On cassettes, too? Oh, yes. And you know what? You can hear the stunts, which are really enjoyable. Wow. I scream on this, and it's, it's a lot of fun. To I bet it is. Uh, uh, what, what, what made me laugh is if this so-called author yes. of this article had taken the time to read my new book, Jump Like Me, he would have seen that in chapter three, I talk about never sell yourself short. And I talk about all the superstars who sell themselves yeah. and how despicable it is to me. Yeah. Incidentally, this book right now is $17.95 and will be coming out with a paperback in two months. And it's the only book where the paperback is going to be more expensive. So I will get this one covered since then. Hey, well, Super Dave, you know what they call all of this, don't you? All of these shots they're taking at you. Sensationalism by the press. You know why? You are number one. Super Dave Osborne is on top and they're out to get you. Well, Michael, you're making my head swell now. Uh, well, it's the truth. Well, I got to tell you something, and, and you would have said, don't do it, Super Dave, I know. I was so angry. I went over across the street to one of the major department stores, I'm not going to mention any name, and I started taking the Super Dave doll right off the shelf. Uh, I wanted to prove to this so-called writer what it would be like if I took the number one selling toy right off the shelf. And while I was doing this, a lady came out to me and said, Super Dave, what are you doing? And I said, I'm pulling these articles off the shelf. They said, you can't. Children have to have some way to spend their money. Okay. They want to buy your items. Don't take it off. Make other things. So we went back, and uh, I know you'll be happy to know we're coming out with a brand new Super Dave Osborne lunch pail. And right there's a signal to eat everything. In it. And you can see that right. These will be $22.95. They're completely insulated, as you can see. Sure. And for an extra $12, you can get a thermos. Super Dave, don't you pay any attention to what they write about you, what they say about you. You know as well as I do that good will always win out. Well, let me say, let's go to the show now. We've got a great show tonight, great entertainment. I'll be doing a stunt later on. And I don't want to take any more time with this. Uh, maybe I've taken too much time. Speaking of time, uh, I see you're wearing the brand new Super Dave wristwatch. <laughs> yes, I am. I'll be on the market in two weeks, and we're coming smaller sizes for smaller wrists. I'm and right. it should be sensational. I bought this last year for $5.95. Uh, you're in luck. It's double that right now. Wow. So uh, let's go to Billboard right now. Uh, uh, I'm sorry I did this, but it's, it's my right, being a superstar, having my own show, to clear the air. Now no one will buy the magazine, hopefully, and uh, I've set it straight. So <laughs> let's go to Billboard. we got a great show. Are we off? Listen, I know we took up valuable time, but this is something that Super Dave had to be said, and you said it so very well, as you always do. Putz, we took up too much time. The trucks were supposed to be out of here five minutes ago. 
moment. Why didn't you tell me? We're sitting here talking. These guys are on a schedule. You know something, Cuts? The reason I let you buy the watch in the first place is so you can remind me of important times. Five minutes cost me money. Well, what a thoughtful, giving, magnificent human being. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the star of the Super Dave Osborne Show, the one, the only, Super Dave Osborne! Welcome to the Super Dave Osborne Show. Uh, we've had this next gentleman on the show quite a few times, and every time we have him on, the response is absolutely overwhelming. And uh, we love to have him. He's the head of the ventriloquist area on my compound. You love him when you visit the compound. You love him when the, he's on the air. And he improves each time he's on the show. Someday this young man is going to be able to go out by himself and really perform. Uh, I love him, and uh, I li it's my pleasure to introduce him right now. Mr. Ron Lucas. Hello, well, Ronnie. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's good to be back. Um, I'd like to share something with you right now. I'd like to show you how you can build a puppet yourself. And there's a very simple way to do that. All you need is a sock. And uh, anybody remember Get Smart? Uh, yellow. What are you doing, guy? Yellow. Right. <laughs> Anyway, Ow. sorry. It's all right. Okay. I'm going to show you how to build a puppet out of a sock. It stinks. Yeah, what do you know? And a couple of rubber bands. Hey, you. Excuse me, Mr. Shu, could you shut up for a moment? Okay, this is a rubber band. It's going to hold the mouth in place. Hola, señor. Como esta? Do that again. Hola, señor. Okay, can you Spanish? Si. Sí. Okay, good. Uh, keep talking. Count to ten. Si. Sí. Uno. Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, six, oh, seven, oh, eight, oh, nine, oh, and ten, oh. That's not the way it goes. Hey, man, learn to adjust. <laughs> what happened to the Spanish? I'm bilingual. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, what are you doing? I'm building a puppet. Can I help? Yeah, you can help. What do you want to hear? I don't know. Can you do a short gag? Yeah. Yeah, uh, no, no. <laughs> Okay, now this is another sock. We're gonna tuck it across the knuckles. We're gonna pretend that this is hair. I can't see. Hang on just a second, okay? I think the audience gets the idea. I cannot see. Hold on, hold on. I had no visual acuity, gringo. Sh hang on, hang on. This is a scarf, and this is gonna be the little dress. A dress? You're not male, you're gonna be female. I forgot to tell you. I did. What are you doing? I'm tucking this in the back. Are you touching my tush? I'm not touching anything. I cannot see. Hang on just a second, okay? Here's one eye. Oh, look! You can see with one eye? Yeah, look. Okay, you can see better with two. Okay, there's another one. Wow, stereo. Okay, all right. <laughs> All right, now you get a rough idea of how you can build a puppet. Now, you can use anything. What are you doing? I'm building a puppet. You can use things like, um, I got a balloon here. What is that? Hang on, let me straighten it out. Want to get kinky? Hurt me, hurt me, hit me. No, 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 no. <laughs> no not on the show. 
Okay. You laugh like you know what it means. Come here, come here. Come here. <laughs> okay, now this is a balloon. Uh -huh. I'm gonna blow this up, look the other way, turn over there. <laughs> I'm gonna surprise you with a balloon, turn. <laughs> How do you do that? I'm a honky. Right, okay. I, I... Yeah, no. I'm gonna blow up the balloon, do something else. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, while he blows it up, I'm gonna sing a song. <clears throat> You're gonna want? Sing. Hit it. Come on. You kissed me. I know. Your breath smells. Your feet stink. Okay, I, uh... <laughs> I was right. Shut up. <clears throat> a ventriloquist cannot bl bl blow up a balloon and sing. You can't even say it. I can't do that. It's going to work. Trust me. Come on. Come on. This could be a minor miracle. Come on, here we go. Excuse me. Stand up. Hey, 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 hey. When people appla applaud, all you have to do is bow and smile. I didn't know. Try it. Smile. Lift the corners of your mouth. Smile. Show me. You're kidding. Do it. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Hey! What are you doing? What do you Let me have the dress. Hey, what are you doing? Let me have the dress. You devil, you woo. Stop that. Like an elbow. <laughs> this is what I'm changing you into. Count to three. Oh, one, two, three. <laughs> it's really a great audience that applauds cardboard. Thank you for that. Okay, tell everybody your name quickly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my name is George. <laughs> I'm a turd. Tall. You're very slow. It's my job. <laughs> I work for the Postal Service. <laughs> Okay. Say goodbye. I just got here. No, we have to go. Say goodbye. No. Say goodbye. No, you go. I don't have time to argue. Step back. <laughs> Step back. Okay, we're gonna be here for a few more moments. Uh, do me a favor, don't grump like that. Can you smile? I am too old. I am sorry, just smile, try it. Smile. Yeah, there you go. Okay, thank you very much. a stunt, so if you'll uh, give me a couple of minutes and then throw it to Mike Walden, I would really appreciate it. Okay. Thank All you. All right, sure, I'll be happy to. Yeah. I'm glad you didn't shake hands. 
say hell, throw, th do the throw, do the pitch to Mike Walden. Yeah. Uh, and now, a uh, nice man, a little faster. Yeah. Who uh, wrote the famous children's story, The Little Engine That Could Care Less. <laughs> Mike Walden. Yeah. Mike Walden. Yeah. everybody, this is Mike Walden, and I'm very excited this evening because Super Dave Osborne will be performing the singular most amazing stunt in history. And I hear from the sound of the world-famous Super Dave Minimobile that the Super One is arriving right now from the studio, accompanied by his faithful stunt Hello, coordinator, Michael. Fuji Hakayito. Hello, Super. Um, Hello, Fuji. It's great to Hello, see you. Oh, thank you. It's always good to see you. And, uh, Super, I've got to tell you, I've been watching the show out here on the monitor, and uh, it is dynamite as usual. Well, thank you very much, Mike. I've had a great time this evening, too. And uh, I've complimented you before, but I just want to say one thing. Whenever I leave my studio and come to a stunt and I see you, I say, there he is, my adorable road apple on the highway of love. Beautifully good as always, well, Super. Thank you very much. Well, as you very well know, time is very precious on this show, so let's get right to it. What are you doing tonight? Well, Michael, tonight I'm going to do something that's never been done before, and uh, I know I've said that to you, but yes. uh, this has never been uh, attempted. Uh, you know, some of my stunts, like when I jumped off the CN Tower or when I had my head driven into my shoes, someone might say, I'm going to try that. It's not that tough. But what I'm doing tonight is so difficult that no one has ever even thought of it. Really? Uh, yes, this man right here came up with a nice, uh, laid the challenge out to Fuji last week. I said, Fuji, let's do something that uh, will put us in the Guinness Book of Record for life. And he's come up with it. Well, what is it? Fuji? Super Dave, grab a back of truck. Truck will try to get away. Super Dave, hold on for 30 seconds. It's amazing. Well, uh, I'm very excited about it, and if you'll come with me, I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. Oh, exactly. absolutely, Super. Uh, Michael, again, as you know, I'm in the Guinness Book of Records many times. I think uh, 22. To 22 be exact, times, right? yes. Uh -huh. And uh, I called them up, uh, and I said, how many times am I in the book? And they said, 22 times. And I said, have any of those records been challenged? They said, not yet, but they could be. So I said, all right, what do I have to do if I want to be in there where no one can challenge it? In other words, forever, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And they said, come up with something that's never been done before. So I hung up, I met with Fuji, I called him back, I said, hello, I would like to do a record where I hold on to the back of a truck, a truck tries to pull me for 30 seconds, and I keep it from moving. Oof. And they hung up on me. Hung up on you? Yes. And I called him back, I said, it's super day, they said, we thought so. <laughs> and I said, look, I would like to do this, they said, if you do, we will put this in block letters, which means no one can even attempt it. It's a record for life. Wow. So that's what we're going to do tonight. Well, God bless and good luck, Super. Well, thank you very much, Mike. Uh, I know it sounds very difficult, but Fuji and I have been working with large animals. I've been holding back big dogs mm -hmm. and a bull and uh, a small car. So this should be a piece of cake. Well, I hope so, Super. All right, Fuji, if you'll get in the cab, I'll give you the signal to go. And Michael, if you'll excuse me, I have sure. to get strapped in. All right, guys, guys, can you give him a little help? As you can see, right, Super sure Dave is being tight. placed in a graphite stainless Michael, steel sure chair. chair. This material can withstand because tremendous uh, shock and heat up to 10,000 degrees. As much as you can. Super Dave's boots have been reinforced with metal. And as usual, he's seals. being strapped in by straps made of genuine Saskatchewan okay, seal skin binding. Also, his gloves are fire-resistant lead alloy. All right, pull it. They're doing okay. one final last check. It's very important Boy, for a right. stunt of this magnitude hands in now. and i can see that he now seems to have a hold of the bumper good. so let's go over here and make nice one and final check super are you all ready uh, in one minute mike make it real tight on the left one. all right guys thank you okay one final check super are you ready yes i am michael and i'd like to say to my beloved fans that if i accomplish this record it's for you and i love you well God bless you, Super Dave, and good luck. Well, thank you, Michael. As usual, Super Dave is Mike, so we can hear his every word. All right, start the truck. Also, on the very bottom of your television screen, the seconds will be shown. Now, remember, Super Dave needs 30 seconds to guarantee right. the record forever. Go!
Super Dave. Whoa. It came so close to breaking the record. Well, I know I did, Michael, but I felt something start to tear in my shoulders. And, uh, you know, if I seriously hurt my shoulders, it could jeopardize my career and my show. And I do not want to do that. Uh, I'm going to have to work out some more with weights and get in better condition for this. And also, I didn't take into account uh, exhaust fumes. Uh, I almost passed out. Did you hear that? The super one almost passed out. Get that truck out of here right now. Wait a minute. Now. Untie my hands first. Sure, touch that perfect. Why don't you stretch my tongue out? I could be a tripod. Well, of course you could. I'm a human goalpost here. I need help, all right? I'm doing my hands. Come on, guys, get in here. Oh, Untie his hands. Right away. Is this a Hurry. mistake? Hurry. Oh. Oh. Another sensational episode of the Super Dave Osborne Show. Music, entertainment, and 29 seconds of the most unbelievable stuff these eyes have ever seen. This is Mike Walden on behalf of an ecstatic Super Dave Osborne saying good night and God bless. See you next time. Mike, I need an ambulance. Hey, don't worry. Don't worry, Super. The ambulance is on its way. Oh, Great show, Super. Yeah, thank you. Oh, one thing. Tell the ambulance not to... I'm like a human speed bump. <laughs> Don't touch me. Take your hands off me. I'm doing myself. Wait. Do me a favor. Put my left arm around his shoulder. Just walk it around. Oh. Do you know the difference between an and a hole in the ground? You can't put your arm around a hole in the ground. Hey, as long as you're standing there, why don't you wind my watch? Oh, my God. Okay. You know something? If you see arms in the road, you shouldn't ride over them. Oh, boy. Easy. Just be careful, okay? Easy. Oh, boy. Easy. Ow. Oh, they don't bend that way. Be careful. Oh, my God. Oh. I don't think the rest of my... Oh! my show. I hope you enjoyed it. And please don't feel sorry for me because I have 17 foot long arms. At least now I can finally hug Oprah Winfrey. Don't get upset, Oprah. I know you lost all that weight. But like all the rest of us, you'll eventually put it back on. So have some cookies and milk and enjoy the joke.